Hello, my friend. So yesterday I posted a story asking how everybody was doing considering the current circumstances. And a lot of the responses that I got were about staying positive or remaining positive during this time or trying their hardest to stay positive. And so since I had so many of those, I thought that I would talk about that for a second because I do feel like you see that a lot in the spiritual community or the mental health community where people are talking about staying positive or remaining positive, right? And my opinion on that is that and I think this is goes with a lot of people who are really into this kind of industry is that remaining positive or staying positive when that's not how you really feel is detrimental, right? Because <clears throat> your feelings are your feelings and fighting them, right? If you have an emotion and it comes up and you are fighting that emotion with resistance, it only makes that emotion stronger right? That's why I say it's detrimental because as you're using this force to fight it, the emotion gains momentum and it's like a battle inside of your head. Who wants that, right? Inside of your head, body, mind, soul, all that. So the thing about it is I don't, when people ask me, how do you stay positive? I don't stay positive. That's my response. I don't stay positive because I allow the emotions that I'm naturally feeling to come up. Now that doesn't mean that I have to attach myself to it because sometimes the emotion is not mine or sometimes the emotion is an emotion that I don't want to dwell in for too long because um, yeah, that, that's not healthy either, right? I don't have to live with that emotion. I don't have to live in that place, right? And so I think that's what's more important to remember as you're feeling the emotions, especially considering the crazy times we're in right now, okay? The times where I would say stay positive is like, for example, when my daughter throws a fit because her favorite shirt is in the laundry or something, right? That's like a, hey, remain positive, like we can find some other clothes for you. But right now, while we have so much chaos going on, right, and the world can seem like a never ending dumpster fire, a bunch of little dumpster fires everywhere that creates a big dumpster fire, it's important to not fight your real emotions that come up. It's important for you to have grace with yourself and remind yourself that your feelings are valid, right? Whatever they are, they are valid. And to also remind yourself that you don't have to live in that place, right? You don't have to live in that place. And so I always like to compare this to the example of like, if you have a cut on your leg, right? If you look at the cut and you treat it, right? You wash it off, you treat it with some aloe or whatever, right? it begins to heal. And so uh, your acknowledgement and your treatment of it allows it to start to heal. However, if you just throw on some jeans, right? And those, those jeans you've worn a couple times without washing, and then you go about your business and you act like it's not really there, even though it really is there, <clears throat> excuse me. A week later, when you go and you take a look at it, it's going to be in bad situation, right? And you give that a month or so, and you're looking at that and you might have to have that leg severed off, right? I'm exaggerating here, but that's really how it is when you're talking about your emotions and your feelings as well. It's the same thing. So when those emotions come up, you have two choices. You can face them, even if it's uncomfortable for a moment, right? You can face them, you can heal it, right? Just like the cut, you can begin to heal it. Does that mean that you feel better instantaneously? No, it might take time and that's okay, right? And you might go tend to something else, but then you come back and you heal it some more, right? Until that it's healed and it's good and you don't have to worry about it anymore. Or you can act like you don't really have that emotion or that feeling, okay? You can distract yourself. You can, and when I say you, I mean me too, all right? This is not a judgment thing. Me too, right? I have done this as well, where it's like an emotion comes up and maybe you're just overwhelmed right then and you don't want to face that emotion right then and there. And that's okay, right? Um, but we can't be like that forever. And I really do truly believe that this time that we're in right now, 2020 and now 2021, we're seeing, we're going down the same road. It is a time where we are getting bombarded with these emotions and some of them are ours and some of them aren't, which I'll talk about in a second, but it is a time right now for us to truly evaluate these emotions and the ones that are ours, right? Um, if they're raw, if they're that wound that needs healing that maybe we've neglected for a while, 
we are at a place right now where we really need to start acknowledging that and working through them. The time for distractions of like, let me, um, let me go get on Netflix instead of handling this emotion. Let me go do some retail therapy. Let me go drink a glass of wine and forget all about this, right? I'm not saying any of these things are bad in and of themselves, but the, if we are turning to that type of thing as a means of being distracted from handling the emotion or the feeling that is coming up for us, that is why I say it's detrimental. Just like saying stay positive is detrimental, numbing yourself to the emotion is also detrimental. We've got to find a happy medium where, yes, we have grace with ourselves. And if we sometimes realize I don't want to deal with that right now, that's okay. But we got to come back to it. So that way we can heal it. Okay. And let's get woo for a second. I know it's not Wednesday or it might be if you're seeing this later, but um, let's get woo for a second. For my friends that don't know what woo means, it's just a, something that's not tangible, right? It's a, a belief in something more than just what we see here in front of us, right? What's hard. Um, <clears throat> I've been saying this, if you've been reading any of my stuff or you've been getting my emails or any of that, um, I've been saying that we are going through an ascension process as humans, right? Um, not just humans, but the world in general. And so as we go through this ascension process, when you think about ascension, think about expansion, think about growth, right? We are growing exponentially. We have been, and it's hitting us, right? And as you know, just like when you think of kids and they're going through growth spurts, right? They might say, oh, my hip hurts or, you know, my leg hurts or whatever. It's, it's the same thing. You cannot get to an area of growth without dealing with some discomfort, something that rumbles up, you know, ruffles your feathers, whatever the saying is, something that makes you feel like, mm, ah, this feels unnatural. Like, I don't like this feeling, right? It's a discomfort. But through that discomfort, we get to growth. And that is what we are going through as an individual, but also as the collective, right? And what do I mean by that? On a micro level, <clears throat> the emotions that you might be experiencing is are the emotions that you need to process and to heal in order for you to continue your expansion and your growth. And that's why I'm saying the time for ignoring them or suppressing them is over because it's not necessarily over. You technically, you have free will, so you can still suppress that, but it's not going to do you any good because at a certain point in time, we have to go keep going forward. We're moving with or without you. And so you can get on the bus, you can do the work and get on the bus, right? And, and take an easy ride. Um, not easy, but like, you know what I mean? Smooth ride. Um, or you could be dragged. <laughs> <laughs> that's the options. And so if you think that suppressing or ignoring the emotions and the feelings is going to eventually go away and you're not gonna have to think about it, you're going to be faced with it and it's going to be very hard. It's just like that cut on your leg that you let fester, right? And at the end, it's going to have to be severed. It's like, you don't want to go through that, right? You're, you're delaying the process for a temporary relief that's not going to get you anywhere in the long run. And so we have to start in, at an individual level healing this stuff, right? And I say this because on a macro level, so if we look at the world as a whole, as human beings, as a collective, the systems that we have um, been dealing with, right? We, we're seeing it right now in America with the political system, right? On a macro level, that system, everything is going through an expansion as well. Because like I said, we are ascending, okay? And so that ascension requires that us as individuals grow, but also the systems that we have paid into and work into and all that stuff that we are putting energy into, they have to grow along with us. And so some of the systems that are energy draining, they are no longer going to have a space in this new ascended world that we're going to live in, right? And so what we have to do is we have to watch them dismantle and they will. And just like at an individual level, it's very uncomfortable for us to go through this. At the macro level, as a collective, it's very uncomfortable for us to go through it. But what makes it easier is at an individual level if you work on yourself. So that way, at the macro level, as things start to fall apart, what looks like falling apart, but it is, it is falling apart so that we can rebuild it in a better way that actually works in our best interest because the way that things have been have not been in our best interest. And so now we are watching them crumble so that we can rebuild on a better foundation, a sturdier foundation, right? 
And so that watching of the dismantling will be a lot easier if you at the individual level can heal the trauma that you have, the wounds that are festering. If you can heal those, then you will be in a better seat to watch the healing of the collective. And then you'll be better service to the collective. That's what a lot of the things were like, what can I, I feel helpless, right? What can I do about what's going on? You can go within and heal yourself because then when you are healed, you can come and help the collective. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> PPS, uh, I guess my woo part was the PS. So this is the PPS. The last thing that I will say is that what I was mentioning earlier about the energy, it's so important that we question the energy that we're feeling or the emotions that we're feeling, right? The, the feelings, the emotions, because as I said, we, we've gotten accustomed, we've come to this belief that like we're all individuals, like we're all alone in this world, whatever, right? But we are actually part of the collective. We are one with all of humanity, right? And you don't have to believe that, but it's true. And the thing is, is that right now in the collective, since we are going through so much, you know how like there's a saying and it's like um, God or the universe, whatever you want to believe in, right? Only gives you so much that you can bear. And that is true. And so right now on a collective level, since everyone's going through the same stuff to a certain extent, right? Um, some people have have taken on some emotions and they're at the point where they cannot take on any more of the emotions that they might be still feeling. And so these emotions are like, if you can imagine little particles in the ether, right? So you might've done your healing and you might be like, man, I'm good with what's happening. Like I've come to accept it. Like, let me just watch this play out. I'm not trying to control it. I don't want to suffer. Like I'm not attached to this. You might really feel that way, but then you serve as a conduit to help your brother and sisters, your brothers and sisters, who might have too much of a burden that they can't carry it alone. And so what happens is that energy, as you're going about your day, you might take on some of that energy. And so that's why it's so important that during this time, you question the feelings that you have. We don't want to ignore them and we don't want to say stay positive, but we also want to question, is this really my emotion or am I absorbing the emotion of the collective perhaps, right? And so if that's the case, then you know there are things you can do to get rid of that, right? Cord cut, cleanse, um, move your body, right? So many things, so many things. Meditate, visualize, like I can, I mean, I can go on for days, right? There are so many things you can do, but you won't get attached to that feeling. So you become a wonderful conduit because you can alchemize that energy that perhaps our brothers and sisters can't, can't process, we take it on, we process it, but we don't attach and we don't make it our own. So then there's no suffering, right? So I'm not trying to drag this on forever. I hope that this is helpful. Remember that you have the tools that you need to go through this time, that everything that you need is within you. Um, if you can, ex you know, cut out some of that external noise and reconnect with what is pure and calm, um, <clears throat> And that, and that true internal compass and internal guidance, it will show you the way. The universe right now, whatever you want to call it, universe, source, ancestors, God, creator, whatever name resonates for you, it is speaking to you. It is gently guiding you. It's waiting for you to tap into it. It's, it's the strength that you need, right? And if you go within, it's within you. You don't have to listen to all this stuff that tries to take your powers away and tell you everything that's going to heal you is outside of you. That is disempowering, right? And that only feeds into that old system and those old beliefs that I told you are dying out. And so what you have to start learning to do, and, I'm, and I speak for myself as well, I'm right there with you learning, but um, we have to learn to go within because that is truly our salvation. Much love. We will get through this together.